but it's not working out just yet for Astralis. They're not onto the bomb site just yet. Estatag, his last tournament with Astralis, will be getting that bomb planted. And now they have to find a way to hold on to it. It's a five versus five retake. One of those rare scenarios where everybody on the server is still alive into the final few moments of this round. This pistol means everything to a good start. And Cadian's going to grab Glyph for people to follow up. And the kills are coming in for Heroic early on into this one. There's three players left for Astralis. And the swarm of Heroic players continue to bombard the site. The Deep Fuse starting to come through. And Heroic, they've done it. They truly pulled this off. The Deep Fuse is stuck. And Heroic are off to a good start. I wonder if they check this. I wonder if Astralis are ready for this. Whether or not they even consider this as an option. And well, Magic's gonna walk right in. Shut down. Up on top of the boost. This is unbelievable. Heroic making it work early on. 50 seconds left. And Astralis realize they've got to deal with that. Glaive is gonna spam through. Nico goes down. A four versus four with 45 seconds still on that timer. Four up in quad 17 seconds he could deny it all here for Strauss run through and don't check him if they don't spot him out but here comes the Molotov that's gonna force him into the open and the flash buying is perfect from device as the tag taking him down on the deagle and Astralis this is looking so good for the round win could be a straight up save here that's a very real possibility heroic already seeming to back away from this one at least heroic will be saving some weapons it's not going to be that great for them. Only the one M4 carried over. A Thanos for Stown, a Scout for Cadian. They can get what they can into the next round. It's, it's going to be an awkward fight for Dupree if he takes it. But nades onto the A site. Oh, is still pushed in short. This could be a great spot. Yeah, but Cadian's already found one kill. Testis as well. He had his teammate behind him if needed. Well, Astralis, they've lost the first two players and it's all crumbling here. Dupree needs to find success in middle. He's been able to find one onto Nico, but now he's being run down. He needs to get away. He gets around the corner. 23 seconds left. Dupree falls all the way back. The bomb will go down for Astralis. And now this V bomb site is looking deadly. They've taken down Testis as well. It's device successful in finding that kill. But Stown has shut down Glaive. And take a look at Dupree's health. One health point is all he has to work with. So device, the pressure is truly on his shoulders. They're doing a lot of the heavy lifting here. He's going to be shut down by Kidian on the scout. It's all on Dupree. One HP to try and win it, and it won't be happening. Split rounds back and forth to start this one off. Did a lot of work in the previous round with the scout. As the tag just absolutely domes down. Another push up. Kidian has got a good position to elevate it. the tag, I don't think, was aware of that possibility for some reason. Magis. He'll shut down Nico. Big flight from Cadian right through the smoke. A second picked up into the round, but he needs all five. What a weird start to this game. It has been, Bomb has been such a large investment here in this round for Heroic as well. So we go into the next round if they do lose this op, which is pretty likely. There's going to be no money left for Heroic. Still with the top, he's just going to take the fight. He's going to win it as well. Bork going down. Oh, it's down. He's out of there as well. Dupree has found a huge opening to this B-bomb site. And to be honest, Alex, that might just be enough here. The Strauss have given themselves such a huge advantage into round number seven. Well, Kadian's going to catch out Device. And that's a little bit unorthodox. You take a look at the money and it's not there. The, the problem I do have for Heroic is... At what point are you giving Astralis too much? They have to go for the round win. Magis taking a headshot. Tesla pulling one back. Nico following up, but the round is done. Astralis will find themselves the pickup. And it's five to two on the board. Unless they're going to be very fast. But they've got those orbs. If they can get oh. those early kills, they won't care. And Stown's already got one. I did want to just bring up the point that these orbs from the early signs have been very important for Heroic. I feel like this is what could turn the tides in this half. And well, what a shutdown. Astralis have just been picked apart, torn to pieces. As Esther Tiger device left alone in a 2v5, what can they really hope to do here? Absolutely nothing. As Tess is stuck on the side, as long as there's no monumental error from Heroic, this should be a locked in round in convincing fashion. Device left alone. One versus four now. Desperately hoping for a mistake from Heroic, but they are not going to give him an easy fight. Nico just tears his head right off, and that is the round you want if you're Heroic. That's a big step up across the board. The Vice has taken a lot of damage from the HE grenade. 
coming in towards the position. He'll re-smoke off in case of the Molotov coming through, and that's worked out for him. He'll jump up on top, now looking for the kills. Heroic have not presented themselves just yet, and now they swing on by as Testis with the first kill on the Glyph. So far, not so good for Astralis, but Device gets one still inside of the smoke. They're pulling him into the crosshairs of Astralis, and they're tearing them apart. Borup and Sound trying to get the round on the board here, but it is just the Estetike, and he is delayed long enough for Astralis to win the round. Heroic just pulled into the chaos, and Astralis to walk away with it. Smoke in to delay this short push, and while 18 seconds, Astralis are going to have to go through it if they want to get towards the site, and Testis is aware of that. Comes down to whether or not the timing works out for him. Glyph goes through. Testis looking for the kill. He'll find it onto Glyph, and now has the cross covered as well. He's going to shut down Estetag, looking for Dupree, and well, what a round from Testis. He's managed to make it work, and Magis was just nowhere near the action. He's having to watch both mid and B. That's making his life so difficult. Well, Sound taking down Glyph. He'll be looking for another one on this hall. Dupree, a device they run forward, and they've pulled it back somehow into an equilibrium. Missed shots from Cadian. And that is a big problem now as Astralis can hold in the 2v2. The bomb goes down. Cadian will not miss twice. He catches device in the cross, and now it is all Dupree. Can he win the round here? One versus two. Gideon and Bora both coming back into the size. Dupree holds the first angle at generators. He's been dropped out of 42 for that EHG grenade. And Gideon running over the top of the pistol. They double up from the same position. And Dupree goes down. And that leaves them in this position, Dinko. Heroic with the better buy into the last round of the half. They're looking like the team more likely to take the lead from the first half. Especially with Gideon getting that early kill. Well, oh, wow. Testis, <laughs> that's a very good kill in towards mid. Glyph going down, Dupree's going to try and swing on by, but it's Nico this time. Heroic just have an answer for every question Astralis has for them. And Astralis have not really had an answer trying to figure out what they're doing on the defense. And well, there we go. It's seven coming in. Heroic will lead the way going into the second half. All three players on the A site with nades ready to use. See if they do anything in this round. The nades go up over the top. A good bit of damage, but no kill. Kidian able to find a headshot. Essentine going down. Magisk able to reply. We've got ourselves a 4v4 with Heroic so low in HP, though. They're still alive. Eventually, Testis will be picked off. And now a 3v4 post plant for Heroic. This is not going to be easy at all. Nico on the flank. He has to get a move on. He has to go quite quickly as Astralis start their retake. The smoke goes onto the bomb. Stown holding the cross, but Nico keep eyes on Nico as he starts to flank in behind. It's going to be Stown going down, so all the pressure really is on Nico on this flank. Smoke is up for the deep fuse. It's going to come through in the smoke. The kills make him in, but the round has been won by Astralis. They'll be finding the pistol. Four versus five. A man down into the round with 30 seconds left, Alex. Another slow one, but Magisk is on an aggressive angle. Not anymore, though. Kadian wipes him clean out on the round. Great flash from Device to be able to trade back, and Device doubles down on the bomb site. Two rifles still alive from Astralis, but can they deny that bomb plant? I don't think so. Heroic are going to get the bomb down. This is starting to look rough for Astralis, and I think they're starting to consider their options and realize there's not too many of them. They get a save, they get a fall back, and Heroic, well, that's an important round for them. They're going to tie things up, and they don't let Astralis just walk away with things. They've taken B stairs. They've taken most of A ramp, but there's the flash we were waiting for. Dupree comes so close to getting that kill. Nico, a little lucky to be alive there, down to 30 health now as a nade tickles him even further. But oh, Tessus has got the entry on A. Cadian almost gets another, and Tessus is there to back him up. Two huge entries onto the A site as Astralis is scrambling to get back into position. Yeah, well, man down here for Astralis as well on the defense. They'll be looking for this retake, but no kit, like you said, at the start of this round. And while well, Tessus is going to catch out Glyph, just diving through the smoke. Oh, Astralis, they're desperate right now, and Heroic are going up to 12 rounds. Astralis will have to save again. It's Magisk, and it's Dupree. Uh, this is a this is a bit of a problem, especially with heroic showing up across the board. Kidding is 21 and 10. Test is having 3Ks. Borg's had some huge entries. This team are popping off right now on an individual level. Still lots of nades for Astralis, though. They've got counter smokes. They've got counter mollies and flashes. They've got players stacked on this site. This is a good chance for Astralis on the whole. Molotov down and now the attack coming in is device. 
delivering a shot. He'll get a second as well. Esetai to the smoke is taken down down. That leaves Kadian alone and he'll fall to Glaive on the 5-7. 10 rounds for Astralis. That's a very important round to win. It'd be very fitting if he got them into the round, which got them to map point as well. Man advantage oh. taken, and it's even extended upon. Magis finally able to trade, but Heroic had the advantage. Well, they have a huge advantage, a two-man advantage. Magis is going to pull one back at least for Astralis. It's within touching distance as they hold on to the site, but it's down with a crucial headshot. It's all on Dupree. One versus three. He's on the other end of the map. Even when Heroic are in that position where they maybe could start to struggle to close out the game, where they could start to choke, they've not let it falter. They've let it come on through. Yep. They've got their 15th round, but Astralis is still in this. This a site hold has struggled at times. This time mm -hmm. it's Device and Magis. It's a slightly different CT setup, and Device is ready. Magis also getting one of his own. Finally, Borat trades, and now Device is trapped. He has to fight his way out of this, but he's got a second kill, and it's only Kadian left alive. A 1v3, Dinko. This man has been brilliant, but surely this is a step too far. Yeah, I think this might just be a little too far for Kadian, but we won't count him out just yet. We'll see if he can pull it off, and he's caught in the open. 12th round for Astralis. Well, they, they probably won't, Alex. That's the... They can try, Dinka. That's they the likely outcome. Here comes the near Don't Glaive looking to spray it down, and it, it's done. It's a very quick round in the end there from Astralis. They clean it all up. 14 on the board for Astralis. Well, they're nice. taking their time. They're going to be setting up. They should be finishing on this B-bomb starting. Glaive is going to go forward. He'll catch up Borth. He's giving them a huge advantage into this round, Alex. Astralis are a man up. And there's 35 seconds left. They've still got to get rid of Dupree at the back of the site. But it doesn't matter if Glaive is just going to continue to shut them down. That's the second kill. And now Dupree, they're not even looking this way. Astralis have managed to do it. They pulled it to overtime. And it's not even close in the final round. Astralis have done it. They've pulled it back. Some sort of reignition in his performance. This heroic look to finish on this A side. Ooh, flash through, but Tessus gets the first kill. One for one trade, but Device is still here, and this angle is so strong for him. Two kills for Device, playing this same position, and Heroic completely Ooh. denied. Device with the 3k, and Tessus needs the A. Surely he can't get it. He gets another headshot, but Dupree arrives with that secondary AWP. Managing to hold on to this man advantage, but they still are going to be tested by Dupree on this B-bomb site. Switches out to the 5-7, wins the fight against Kadian, and now the push comes through. Dupree repositions on the sidearm. He will not be able to get a follow-up kill. As the target device, they're going to have to pull off a 2v3 retake of this B-bomb site if they want a flawless half. And that is not too far off taking the kill, but Nico wins the AIM duel against device. And the flank from Estetag... If it had been a little bit quicker, it would have been more useful, but now it is sought after. Nico takes him down. Esetag will fall. And Molotov, but that it couldn't, it does so much damage on Akkadian. He's down to 17. Stown has taken down Esetag. It's still three versus three, but look at that HP on the CT side. Four up. Oh, nearly gets caught in transition. He will still get the kill onto Glyph, and that gives the man advantage. Too heroic. And Dupree swings onto the B bomb site. He's been spotted, but still wins the aim draw. And now Dupree and Magis, they're looking to pull the round off. Dupree having to do most of the work into this B bomb site, but he's not been able to do much more than that initial kill. So it's Magis now trying to close the round. 25 seconds. Magis climbing construction. Does he go back to A or does he take this fight? He's stopped by Kirin, who comes up from behind. Magis not expecting the flank. No one even seen Glyph. No one knows where he's gone. And Astralis have the man advantage. Going for the ball plan. Tessus jumps. And it's not going to be working out. Down with the kill on the AWP. Tessus trying to follow suit. Nipping at the heels of the players falling back. But it hasn't been enough to make this round favorable for Heroic. They still have to push forward for this retake. Astralis have utility. The flash going up. The peak from Glyph. But it hasn't worked out. Tessus with the kill. Traded back from Dupree. And it's chaotic in the last few moments of this round. But Astralis look to delay. There's no smoke for the Molotov. The time will take on by. And Dupree is still alive. Still finding kills. And now one versus one. The vice versus down. And the missed shot is not going to be going in favor of Heroic. They cannot win this round. And we go again it's overtime number two coming right up it's down holds on oh live jumps around the corner and that's gonna be offset the cross there was down he cannot take the kill he'll miss the shot now five seconds to go for the plant they're gonna get it done magic with an important kill to pre-follow it up as well 
And these rounds are so damn close, but it's Astralis edging them out back to back now. Tessis moving forward into a 1v3. There's still smokes up. He still has a kit. The chance of winning this round is incredibly slim. And Tessis, he's not given anything. Astralis will be winning this round. He'll go down 19 to 18. Astralis head into the lead again. Yeah, if you've got some sort of pocket strategy, if you've got some sort of new play that you've got in mind, this is the time to pull it out. You don't have the weapons, you don't have the chance to win just on the individual duels, and we're already seeing that. Device gets the first. Nico, knife out. Knife out in the smoke. Oh my oh god, no. Device is still sitting here. They don't know how close they are. They just touched. They touched in the smoke, but Device is the one who comes away with it. Two kills for him, and only three more needed for Astralis to take every single T round in this second OT. Yep, this is going to be a 21 tier team score line if Astralis can just close these final few kills. And it's looking locked in now. It's just four up and he'll go down. 21 tier team, Astralis, they keep edging these rounds out. And now, if you're heroic, Second smoke onto the site. Nico about to get that bomb planted. No more nades, no more bullets for Magis. But they're thinking of pushing oh. through this. They've got the flashes. Tess blind on the other side. Boric gets another kill. 3v2 for Heroic. Tess still holding the line, still waiting patiently. Even more smokes to the site. And look at where the bomb is planted. It's not the best position oh. here, but the kill comes through anyway. Glaive not going to get it done. Heroic stay alive. Looking to regroup. There's only a couple of seconds left here. 26 on that board. Missed shot from Device. That's an opportunity. Now for Borup. The headshot comes through as Device goes down. And now a two versus two. Molotov deploys towards construction. That'll keep Esatag at bay. Magic skin behind him as well. And now it's a 2v2 retake. Can Astralis close this? Or will it be Heroic sending us to another overtime? Kadian getting up close, Borup holding the back line, shots fired, gives away his position, Kadian up close, gets the first headshot, into the 1v1 for the game. Borup still holding back while Magisk has to make the move, he knows where the man is, he's still trying to close in, he's still trying to go for the kill, but he can't find the angle, Borup buying the time, and Borup landing the shot, we go again Dinko, this game is not going anywhere. And Glyph will have to throw his smoke, now Heroic. Perfect executing oh. towards this mid position. Gliv is being completely Going manipulated a. into position. And they're about to walk through this smoke to A. This could work out for Heroic, but Astralis are aware of this possibility. They're looking for the spray down. Gliv gets the double kill and the bomb. And now it's Borg for Nico trying to scrap this round back. They'll find kills. It's Nico on the double. And now an S Tiger device. Can they shut this round down? 10 seconds. Quick shot from device. It's all on Nico. Alone in a 1v2. And there's nine seconds to play with. He has to sprint for the plant and Estetag up on top but still a headshot but there's no time to win the round and device just falls away it's Astralis with 22 added to the tally and Astralis will see what they can muster with a FAMAS and MP9 and AWP and two M4s as they swing out middle it's four with the initial headshot shutting down Glyph who's been so impactful from this position KD and finding the follow-up as well it's still doable for Astralis having done the damage onto KD Keep eyes on the position of Esetai at the sandbikes. He's still unchecked. He's unchecked still. Nico about to walk into the line. Stand is tall. Oh, Esetai will take the kill. Get a little close to that. He's able to pick it up, nearly shooting his own teammate. But Kadian shutting down device. It's a two versus two. I'm so impressed with these mid-round calls from Heroic. They're making the right move every time. Now Kadian just needs to land a shot. Oh. And he's got it all day, every day. And Esetai has two health. How is he going to win this? Well... That's a question that he will look to try and answer. Two health. And he'll check out the right side. Pulls an air, crosses into the open, and Stown shuts him down. Heroic into the lead. As the tag towards the top of the B stairs, around the corner is Borup. Oh, he's going to whiff the spray. And that opens up an attack and avenue in towards this B bomb site for Astralis. Glaive taking down Stown. Nico trying his best to scrap together what he can for Heroic. But Astralis have locked themselves in the B site. And it's looking like the round at this point. Dupree is holding off Kadian, who will take the kill, but Glyph is the second player there. He doesn't let Kadian walk any further. Nico now forward, looking for the quick shot, but Glyph chops his head off. And it's 24 to 23. Astralis into the lead again, Alex. Map point yet again. Couple of fan asses in there. MP9 for Stown and a Deeg for Borat. That is what Heroic are relying on to keep them in this game. Oh, and it's the wrong no! boost. Oh, no! Why are you doing that in overtime in what could round. be the last round? I'm having a difficult time accepting it. 
Strata's not making it work, that man advantage handed to Heroic. And we're well, Kadian is shut down Glaive. We might just, well, we're getting oh another God. overtime. Mad just gonna the tag to the last two remaining players. And yet again, it's overtime coming right up. Estatag left alone in a one versus five. And Astralis, what a weird round to pull out a run boost. What a weird round to pull out any risk. You were given the advantage in the economy. Kadian deciding to fall back, but as soon as these smokes bloom, well, there's only one smoke. Oh, Kadian's actually going to have a clear line of sight here. A chance. Oh, oh never mind. No chance. Dupree's <laughs> on the flank, and it's got to be the save. We've talked about that CT economy before, Dinko. Surely it's a save call. Nice to see evade that death. Stout just trying to hold on desperately. Bore up holding for Device, who eventually will find death. He was searching for it, that. And Bore trying to hold on. Player's now running down his position. Dupree, he'll fall as well. Decent job done by Bort, but this op needs to stay afloat. This op needs to stay alive. They've completely walked over here with no problems, no resistance from Heroic. This looks like it's going to be a flawless round from Astralis. And while well, there oh. it is, Dupree with a headshot. Kitty and going down. They'll look for another kill. Nico tries his best, but Dupree was in position to shut down the rotation. And now Bore up and Nico is all that stands in this last round. And see if they can make it work. Estrella's looking to grab map point yet again. This time, they'll have three opportunities to close it. Bore up and Nico walk forward into the B-bomb site. The vice is low, but the rest are not. And that is impossible, impenetrable. As Nico will try and move forward, he tries his best, but it's not enough. Astralis will be reaching map point yet again. This could be it. 33 seconds. Tess throws a flash out to A, but the bomb is back at mid. Heroic don't have much time left. They have to get a kill quickly. Borat moving up. Dupree oh. waiting patiently. First shot lands, and there's more where that came from. Kidian, he's going to go down. Magic swings on by. Now it's just Tess and Stown trying to get this run over the line for Heroic, but it looks impossible. Astralis have done it. They will be picking up Vertigo. They're sending us on to the second map, and the marathon concludes. It's Astralis that walk away as the victors. Heroic, so many map points. Astralis taking their time early on. They're waiting for the utility to be put in place. And now they're going to swing on towards the site. Straight out Tcon looking to take these opening jewels. And no one's come out on top just yet. Borup has taken a lot of damage. But it's the opening kill going in favor of Heroic. An opening kill. And it's down that has found it. Ooh, long range shot from Magus lands. Still on the bomb train though, and still unable to get that bomb down because Stown is surviving. Second shot lands from Stown, looking for more, oh. and he makes it a third. Stown making all the difference at the start of this game as Heroic take a very one-sided pistol. He does have the positional advantage. No utility oh. to force him away, but look at Dupree. Somehow he's walked out. Tessus is not going to be expecting that. And they haven't turned. Kadian, get away. He walks right into the open arms of Device. And three kills for the Deagles have come in from Astralis. Heroic, a lapse in the defense. They have no idea how that has just happened to them. Tessus has so many questions as to what has just happened. And Astralis, they are gifted this round. Nico looking either for some kills or maybe just to save the gun at the end here. Heroic still have some money in the bank, but oh, that's a round that's going to be really disheartening for them. Look at this push the brown holes as well, Alex. They've got so much info on a Heroic. 30 seconds left. They know it's going to be an A hit from Astralis. And Stown, he's taken down Masters. Here comes the attack. Ooh, good shot from Kadian and Astralis are actually bailing. 20 seconds yeah. left. They're going back. Nico's even got this flank going, though. They might try and push out through A main, but no, they're not going to do it. And now Nico's got them lined up. Easy kills for Nico. One for Borat. Kadian at the top with 10 kills. Nico up there at eight, but a faster play from Astralis. Dupree looking to make this work, but down this time. Ready for him with the orb. Well, Stown taking down Dupree. Stown looking for another one. Shuts down Device. He's having a great time at the start of this round, just picking Astralis apart, weakening the attack completely, and it's done yet again. Heroic, just dominating in these individual duels, and Astralis can have nothing on the server. We'll go back over towards B, but what can they hope to establish in this round? on the Heroic side. Look, Bart's the, behind them. This is one of the most proactive CT halves I've seen a very long time on trade. This is fantastic stuff from Heroic. They have all the info all across the board, He's having a lot of impact. One of the more experienced players on this squad. 
Fast play from Astralis down. Doesn't throw out the incendiary. Now he's got to land the shot. He gets the first kill, but Astralis oh. trying to move onto the site. Not successful in doing so, though. Every shot landing from Heroic. They are making this look easy right now. Kidian has been unstoppable in this series. And what? Diving down the ladder. Testus gets a little show off the legs, but that's not going to be enough just yet. As the tide will drop and get the trade kill. Testus was good enough to take away Magisk, but it will fall very quickly after. And now Dupree, it's his time to shine. Down on the other side of the smoke, but Borup gets aggressive. He'll get one. Dupree is just waiting out the smoke. That's a free kill onto Stown. And now, well, Astralis, they have the man advantage into round number 12. Kidian. 18 and 1. Could this be another death for him or will he add to his kill tally? He's on the bomb train. Nico. Crossing behind green. He'll have a chance. Dupree shuts down Cadian. Now it's just Nico in a 1 versus 3. And Astralis, this Coupe, their second round on the board. But Nico looks to deny. He goes out with the first kill, swinging, but he's caught in a glaive sandwich. And that is not going to be ending too well for him. Two rounds on the board for Astralis. I guess where Astralis look to be going, Dinko. It's the B site. A triangle of death here. Heroic need to try and get these kills, but Esther Tyke has just taken away Borup. Absolutely no problem. Mad just following up as well. Finally, Astralis winning a couple of these duels. Feels like that just wasn't happening. That near kill, though, is huge from Stown. That keeps it even into this retick. It gives a chance to Heroic to win this round. And Stown is still moving forward. He's going to be caught nearly there in the open. I thought Dupree was about to peek around, but Stown getting close. He could still take this kill somehow. Close up and personal. The second kill from Stown as well through the smoke. He is delivering as Glyph tries to throw the Molotov, but the smoke is just being deployed. Glyph realizes he needs to go into the open, and Stown is going to shut him down as well. That's it is. That's all five kills for Stown. What a round. What a beast. And that's 11 on the board for Heroic. Two players currently on it, and they're completely unaware. Magisk is all the way behind him. Spots Nico. Oh, he whips the spray! Oh. He goes down, Magisk. That is unbelievable. How has he not managed at least one kill there? You do not see that every day. And that is going to be mad tilting if you're Magisk. But Nico holding on. A big flick from Kadian. And like you said just a little earlier, Alex, Heroic cannot lose. They cannot lose rounds. Everything going their way. It's Dupree on 10 HP, swinging out into the open. And Heroic, they take a 12-3 half. This is just sheer dominance. Smoke and a flash in the hands of Nico, and plenty of players ready to push onto this site. Device taking damage in the back lines, but Essatag's nade might land. It's not quick enough, though. They've all dropped down, and Essatag's not ready for them. Heroic with one kill onto the B site, and they're going to keep going. Well, they continue to run forward. Glaive with a headshot. Tessus falling down. A man advantage for Heroic into this one is Magisk taking away Stown. 3v3 yet again. Astralis looking to pull off the retake. Orps just going to hide in the smoke. Going to use that to his advantage. You've still got two players in upper. No utility for Heroic here. And Borup goes down through the smoke. Magisk is so aware of that. Dupree following up as well. It's just Kadian and the defuse comes through in the smoke. Astralis with a, a very much needed piss around there, Alex. They desperately needed to pick that up. Device, three kills still to his name right now. He'll try and change that. A fourth coming through. He won't miss those easy shots when he has the AWP in his hands. And now the attack coming to the Esther Tiger. He's got an advanced position. He'll catch the bomb, switches out to the AK-47 as well, and retreats towards the bottom of the rampart. It's one kill on Decadian, and Borp swings by, doming Esther Tiger. The process, but Device with the clothesline secures the round for astralis and it's a good thing he did he even gets a nade landing right on stown as he falls back but oh stown goes back for it and he still gets the kill through the smoke well heroic this is the kind of round you want out of them into the second half you start to worry about whether or not astralis were going to break them down again they had the first few steps, but it was completely unrealistic to ever expect that early on. You have to consider the round that Heroic just had, or the half, should I say, they just had. They are completely favored here on trade. They've got themselves the 4k across the team, and the only player that hasn't picked up a kill here is Borat. Glare's about to run back into the connector. He pulls the rifle, but he's shut down by Nico, and it's 13 to 7. And they decide to take a different angle of approach. 
That Molotov, that's the bomb. And Nico, because of that Molotov, has been forced into the open. Luckily, he's going to stay alive. He hasn't been shut down just yet, but he goes out wide. He takes the fight against Glaive, and I love that play from Nico. Now the rest of the push can come through from Heroic. They found such an important kill, although Stown gets caught with uh, kind of an awkward situation there, not having his gun out and ready. Nico through the smoke, though, shuts down Magisk. A nice kill from Kadian, but it's all an essence attack, and he's been turned on. 14 to 8. What a turnaround from Heroic in that round. Well, if that happens, you've got to assume we would be going to a third map. Inferno could be the decider that we end up playing out on, as long as Heroic can close this one out. And Tessis has already got two kills onto A. He's down to two health. Uh, okay, wow. they're fine. They're fine. I thought for a second they might not spot him, but up the ladder, the man goes down. Now, Glaive has got this flank. Kadian's oh. not going to turn around here. There we go. He just takes the kill, confirms it's down, able to pick up Glaive in return. And now as the tie, get a one versus three. A CZ 75. It's not nothing else to save here. So he should be going down, down, rattling the shots. Actually, doesn't hit any of them. That's all a bit questionable. We'll find the headshot nonetheless. Esetag is trying to see if he can maybe spot something out of B and Dupree also going aggressive. Wins that duel, brings it back to a 4v4. And I think he will get away safely. Kadian though, just waiting patiently. He knows that Esetag likes to go for that B push. He's prepared for it. He gets the kill he was looking for. Glade is still pushed into the B position and he gets that kill back, but he's trapped, he's stuck, and Kadian hunts him down. Two more kills for Heroic and a wide open B bomb site for them to work with. Astralis were desperate in this round. You can see the aggression across the map. Device starting things off, running solo down Ivy. It didn't pay off for him. It nearly did, but 2v3. It's another kill for Kadian. Heroic are winning every M draw. Now it's just Dupree. 37 HP versus 3. And this is locked in. Surely at this point. Dupree down to 10 HP now. Molotov deploys. Time will start to tick as Dupree has another factor working against him. He'll come out from heaven. Orup has a good angle towards the backside as well. Kadian just scoped in towards low and he's going to hit the shot. What a performance yet again from Kadian. 27 and 8 he finishes on. Wonderful statistic you would like to tell the audience, Alex, in terms of how this one's been playing out recently. Yeah, it's become one of the T-sided maps recently. What? But Never the T side has started strong here. Kadian with two kills up close. It's a clean sweep. Heroic stack on Banana gets Astralis out of the round instantly down solo holding b the rotate's gonna take some time to arrive and stown's out of nade so he needs to hold here he needs to land shots with the rifle Borok just now coming over but stown is the man sitting at the back of the bomb site trying to line up these kills and they're not checking this down eventually gets the first man now he looks to survive there are no real nades left and stown makes it a third easy hold for him against the pistols and device has snuck into this position but i doubt we'll do much with it there's only 10 seconds left and stown is one step ahead of him Quad kill for Stown. 7 0 to start this game. Kadian and Stown on Banana are two players I would not be wanting to push right now if I were Astralis. You can't just avoid this side of the map, though. You've got to be willing to fight them. And obviously, Astralis are confident they oh, can no. win these fights. No. And Kadian caught in the open. The Molly forces him away, and he didn't realize Device was so close by. Yeah, Device gets up there. They're, they're absolutely not expecting that. That's well played from Device, just to take as much control towards top banana as possible. You could also try and three stack B, but even that isn't necessarily going to be good enough on the hold. So losing that banana control is always a tough thing to really recover from. Chunk down to 64 and 45 HP. And the other side of the argument that we've been talking about, which we'll get back to, that nade coming through, wall just drops down, and now the push coming into this B-bomb site is looking so potent. The retake is not going to have to come through just yet, because Tesla's has just rotated over and dived through the smoke! A double kill on the UMP, and it's Dupree and Estatak now trying to recover the round for Astralis. It's Dupree through the smoke with a headshot, and Kadian and Nico, a two versus two. Estatak has most of the pressure here. Will he be able to show up in this crucial round for Astralis? The time is ticking. Heroic taking their time. Eventually, they've just got to go into the bomb site. It's Dupree with the first kill, nearly getting the second. In fact, he will. Astralis getting their second round. Heroic, he gathered the man advantage as Tessus looks to follow up. He'll do so. Liv is the victim of the FAMAS. Tessus looking to collect another 
Although somehow gets around the corner alive. Magisk was stomping at the bit to try and take him down and Dupree presented with an opportunity. Estetine did fall before this. So it still is a, a huge advantage for Heroic into round number six. Just over a minute left in play and that bomb not in the possession of Astralis. In fact, Nico is the gatekeeper of this bomb. Magisk yet to find a kill. This could be the round for him to step up. He needs to be careful. Nico's still at the bottom of these stairs. Magisk has so many angles to be aware of that he might just check the right one, but Nico catches out the head. Dupree left in a 1v4. Tessas is going to... Oh, it looked like he was going to peek, but Dupree now has to go in his domain, and he will spot the head. Tessas goes down. Dupree now looking for another. He'll go to the apartments, the utility being used up. That makes things very difficult for Dupree to find any control. AK's out for Astralis. Flash into top mid for Glaze. So be a bit careful that he doesn't go down early. And all oh, the banana aggression from Heroic. They are taking the fight to Astralis at the start of this round. Deviso gets the spam through, but Tessess goes aggressive, again getting away with it. Into a 3v3. Nico's there to back his teammate up. It's trades all over the place, Dinko. But after the dust is settled, it's a 2v1 in favor of Heroic. Device left alone in a clutch. This is a round device can certainly win, but it is going to be difficult and Kadian Heroic have just shut them down. It feels like they're suffocating them. Hot banana smoke again. Device runs through it, but the flashbang not able to land onto Sound this time round. It's not enough to deny him that spray. Oh. Dupree with a great shot at top mid. That could be the bit of individual skill to crack open this round for Astralis. Dupree's got the AWP and he's got a second kill. This is dangerous waters now for Heroic. Yeah, it feels like coming into this round, Astralis just has said, screw it, let's just do whatever you want. See if you can make a play. And it's working out for Dupree. Test this will go down in the pit. Borg trying to spray, but Dupree with his third kill in the round. It's all on Stown now, trying to win it out. Dupree... He's got the read. He knows exactly what's going to happen here. Stown, he's going to go down surely at this point. But the smoke, oh, it's kept them both invisible to each other. And finally, Dupree will win it out of 4K. A yep. long is wide open. They're having to watch CT from the B site. It's a guessing game for Heroic right now, but these nades might give that game away. Yeah, they know now. Here comes the attack. 20 seconds plus from that clock. He starts have to commit to A. It's Tessis with the first kill. Estetite going down. And now the rest of the team will start their approach into the site. Tessis holding on. Good position in the middle of the site. Takes down Magis, but Device is there. Nine seconds. They're going to have to go for the Platinum. The bomb down. Nico shutting it down. Bork following up for the final kill. And Heroic, well, they've won the half by a minimum of one round. Give you many rounds. If you give them any chances, Astralis will come back in. A heroic playing the percentage, but it doesn't even matter at this point. Estetag with a headshot onto Borup. He wins that duel out. And the pressure is drawing over towards Long, but Kadian just peeks out, takes down Estetag, blinded, but Dupree will still find success on the Deagle. It's Device, Glaive, and Magisk left alone, and Device has found a crucial oh, no. kill on that AK, and that is going to open up a freebie bomb site. There's no one here in the defense. They're going to beeline straight Glaive's over, gonna but is just going to run over the top of Glaive. Is he going to find a Glock kill from behind? The range would be a problem, but Glaive has got the headshots and the kill as well. How have Astralis pulled this out of the hat? So talented, he got really thrust into the spotlight. Now this heroic team are really starting to look good. Yeah, this heroic team, they've always had the pieces. And well, now they're finally getting it done, but Magisk on the double kill device as well. Magisk finding two very quickly indeed. Kadian finding one back here for heroic, but it's not going to be enough just yet. There's a lot more work to be done here for heroic. And while Tess is, oh, he's not getting anything. Kadian left in a one versus four. That is Astralis just cleaning up. They've had enough. They want to be able to pull this half back and make it as competitive as it can be. Heroic, they had their opportunities. They had a very good start into Inferno, but Astralis, we love to see it. They fight back on the T side. They scrap it together. Over for Astralis. The classic heavy utility. Ooh, well, you're not going to get to use your utility if shots like that are landing. For it over the top. Magic only good for one from the pit. Device goes down. Tessa with a fantastic shot. And even though Glaive's nade gets one kill, Heroic have found themselves onto the bomb site with the advantage.
Yeah, bomb going down, tucked into the back of the site. Estralis are going to have to pull off a retake. A 2v3, and Tessus just domes Glib out of the server. Esetag left alone now, just rattling shots, hoping for some sort of madness to go his way. And it's just not happening right now. He may have the kit, but any chance of winning this round is gone. It's Heroic who take the piss around into the second half, Alex. And they're off to a pretty good start here. Esetag will try and take as many players down with him as possible. But he will not find a single player. 9-7 for Heroic. And close out this round in a bit of a bonus fashion. Just over a minute left and the pressure now applied towards Device. The MAC-10 will go down and there's no trade potential. Magis sitting in the pit. He can be so good in these positions, but Dufree's here to help him. Magis now mollied out. He's taking damage. He's taking damage. Oh, He's down no. to 33. He needs to get out of there, but he goes down at the hands of Nico. Heroic getting some kills onto this A site, but they're still a man behind, even if they've got that bomb down. Gideon and Nico. They get a sit and look for these fights. They know they have to try and find something to pull it back, and that could have been the opportunity. It probably was. As Kadian not able to take the kill, Glaive takes down Nico. It's all on Kadian, left alone. One versus three, and he's got the first two. He switches out to the M4 and finds a different position to approach this round from. Esetag has a kit, and he's got the position as well. He can just stick this Kadian, has to move quickly. He's not going fast enough, and Esetag pulls it off of the defuse. It rounds for Astralis, and that one was stolen away from Kadian. And now Heroic start their approach to long. Device is spotted and on. That smoke is going to go through. It comes down to the timing, but he's not able to line it up. And now he's got to rotate round and play from library. And Magis is going to be tested. The first, the second. Oh, Magis, that's huge. Three kills collected. And he's done enough to make Astralis look strong in this round. Stown has to win a 1v4. He's on the side itself, Alex. And he peeks into the open. Device will take him down. And it's a round secured. Device is sticking around, but he's going into CT, so he's going to be a bit further away from this A bomb site. Nade lands, boost comes in, but Magisk is ready for it. Great off angle to kick things off, and here comes the push, but Magisk gets a second. Oh. And the third, Magisk is going massive from the pit. Bork's the last man standing, and he won't be standing any longer. Magisk and Dupree are dominating this A site right now, committing into top mid, but they've got to be careful they don't run into this stack. Yep, Molotov down, Esetag about to swing on by, that's a lineup, a double kill, oh he gets a third as well, Esetag shuts everybody down in this attack, and Heroic have been absolutely dispelled by one man, Nico has given up with the apartments, he takes one look and sees all his teammates are gone, and Esetag with an ace, all five kills, and that's against the buy round, that's the kind of round that will fire you up if you're Astralis, Heroic are looking more and more likely to commit to B, or is Good setup a though. And there's the utility coming in. It is going to be Glaive finding one player committing to the push, but nothing else. And while the player is in towards this A bomb site, so you've currently got one player up in the apartments, and that's an important kill found by Nico. But Magisk is still here. They should be aware of that. They should be aware that Magisk loves to play this position. He's going to drop down, looking for more than one, but he'll find the headshot. That's still huge for Magisk. And here to go through the smoke, now charging right through Nico. Oh, that is disgusting on the transfer. 12 rounds for Heroic. And then he will fall back. The flash is brilliant though, Alex. Molly from Device won't slow them down for long. Heroic still walking towards B. Oh, Glaive gets a quick kill though. Great kill on the fadeaway. Glaive goes for more and eventually finds it. The spray converting for a second kill. The bomb's been dropped into pool. Finally recovered by Heroic, but they need this plant right now. No nades left. Only Stown left alive. 1v4 and it's not going to happen for him. Glaive arriving just in time to get three tasty kills. Heroic going back towards A, but Astralis are just always one step ahead of them, always rotating at just the right time. They've got four players ready to rotate quickly into this A site. Magis called in the cross device. What a nice shot. Kadian taking down Magis though. And now Device throws the flash flying around the corner. Esetag holding the cross and Device's flash catches out Tessus for that long. Esetag takes him down. And now Astralis, a two-man advantage into round 27. Smoke is going to go in for the archway cross. Dupree adds another kill to his incredible tally to taking Kadian down. And he's got to throw that Molotov. He's not feeling so safe right now. He wants to put some burglar alarms in this house. There's a lot of players running him down. There's the quick what? shot, but it's the no scope from Device. I think he jumped around behind him. Yeah, Device will get to show up this time. He's been neutralized a good few times in this banana hold. And again, he's not going to get anything done. 
Oh, Device is having a nightmare. Now Glyph trying to patch up the hole. He throws the Molotov to delay. It's done enough, and he's going to peek. He's going to catch Borup. And now he can fall back into the site itself and goes to the Colfins to try and re-aggress. And he could be finding himself another kill here somehow. Kedian taking a lot of damage. He's dropped down to 10 HP. But no follow-up kill from Glaive. Estatag instead will catch that one out. Sound goes down. Glaive with another one. What a fantastic round from Glaive. And it might just be enough to get Astralis over the line here. Kadian and Nico left in a two versus three. Sinking their teeth deep into this B-bomb site. Kadian finds one, but it's all on Nico. Yet again, required for a hero play. And it's not going to happen. It's in fact Estatag that will show up and close out the series for Astralis. It's his last tournament with them. And well... He's getting them over the line. 16-13 on Inferno. What a series, Alec.